hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video just want to give you a quick stock market update we're going to go over some uh, key things that are happening this week now this is off of investing.com and we'll also take a look at the stock market futures which do not look uh, too hot this morning <laughs> okay and then we'll take a look at the S&P 500 see exactly what we think uh, may be coming uh, you know for this week and maybe beyond and kind of go from there so if we take a look here uh, obviously yesterday was President's Day and the market was not open uh, we have today here uh, Tuesday the 21st uh, we have um, you know some things that'll happen but not, these are the things that are actually highlighted here Wednesday is at the Fed meeting minutes okay are going to be released on Wednesday and then uh, uh, someone from the Fed, uh, member Williams, will speak also, okay? And then they'll have uh, GDP Q4 on Thursday. They're projecting 2.9%, and the previous was 2.9%. GDP price index Q4 per, uh, forecast is 3.5%, and uh, that was previous as well. And then initial jobless claims also comes out. And then we have Fed member uh, Bostic or Bostic will speak. And then uh, on Friday, Core PCE price index will be released. So a lot of data that's coming out this week that can be crucial for the markets as far as you know where we're going from here. Are we going up? Or are we going down? Um, and things of that nature. So just kind of keep an eye out, in my opinion, for Wednesday and uh well really wednesday through friday to kind of see how the market reacts to you know some of this data i don't have full in-depth data of what it's going to entail however uh, this is just a lineup of things to expect for the week all right taking a look at the stock market futures the implied open looks like we're going to have a red tuesday as it looks like the dow's down uh, 278 points currently s p down 29 points and then the nasdaq down 115 points and we're gonna take a look at the s p 500 guys and see exactly what we think may be coming in my opinion i think that we're going to come down and retest that 4,000 mark here i've been saying that for the past couple videos i've done on the s p 500 i do think that we're going to continue to come down here and if we find support down here that'll be a great sign if we bust below that and you have 3900 your next level of support 3975 is going to be a crucial level too because that is the red SMA line basically to see if it's going to hold and push higher. These other two bands here that are lighting up on my screen uh, basically showing that uh, that we are currently still in a bullish pattern. However, if this blue line basically crosses below the pink line, then that should show that we're, all, we're going to have some more room for downside or we're going to go lower. Um, you know a lot lower than what you're looking at here however if this comes down here and they you know the, the two lines are about to meet and they about to cross and they don't cross or they cross and uh, they cross right back over like what happened here then that signals that we're going to see some more momentum and moves to the upside and one thing I feel like when you know once we fall back down and we bounce up is we've been bleeding out for um, you know for about basically a week and I think if we bleed out for another week which is in my opinion a potential to happen then we could start recovering and making our way back to the upside and have some type of little bullish run uh, even if it's just kind of temporary okay so anyway that's uh what i wanted to show you on this video here let me know your comments below other than that we'll catch you in the next one